Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the views so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the show. Going guys, welcome back to another beer review, uh, another stout review. We are chugging along with Stout Mess, having a blast drinking big ass beers in the month of December. Uh, gonna review another local beer tonight from Horest Aged Ales in Oceanside, California. This is Ghost Hawk's Grasp. This is a 13, 13.2% 13 alcohol by volume, Imperial Stout with coffee and hazelnuts. Uh, we reviewed Ghost Hawk's Beans, which is a variant of this beer. I think what Kyle at Horace does, he brews, he has this stout base. I think I talked about this in my last video. It's similar to Monsters Park that Modern Times does. They take a, He takes a base beer stout and adds different adjuncts to it. That one had vanilla and coffee. This one's got coffee and hazelnuts. There's Ghost Hawk's Territory, which has something else. I don't remember. He's doing a bunch of variants with it. So we reviewed Ghost Hawk's Beans. Love that beer. That beer was awesome. This was the first beer that he released. Um, and people have asked when I posted that Horace video, they're like, if I visit San Diego, can I go to his brewery? He doesn't have a brewery right now. Um, he basically brews off-site at other places, and then if he's barrel-aging beer, he'll bring the beer back to his warehouse. He's got a warehouse, um, and age the beer in barrels in his warehouse. There's not a tasting room you can go to yet. There's not a brewery you can hang out yet. It's just he brews these beers and then releases them, and people go to a warehouse, essentially, and pick them up. So that's the deal with that. If you come to San Diego, Horace isn't one of the places you can visit yet. He has been posting on social media. Um, there's been kegs of his beer going out to places, so if you're in San Diego... Just check on, what are those, I don't remember what the site is that you can look and see like if there's beer around you and keg somewhere. You can always do that. Um, follow him on Instagram. Uh, he gives a bunch of information when stuff like that happens. So um, Nathan has reviewed this beer. Peter reviewed this beer. <laughs> Peter loved this beer, which was awesome. They did a hilarious review with their hats on backwards and all kinds of funny stuff. But um, I, this beer has been in the bottle for a while. I got this four or five, six months ago, maybe. Um, so hopefully the hazelnut's still there. I had heard this beer is still an absolute coffee bomb, so I'm not worried about that. Geisha coffee, I think, is the coffee they used. Um, and yeah, and then hazelnut. So we are using our Horace proper glassware. You'll be able to see it better when I pour this because beer tastes better in proper glassware. So let's get into this one. I'm gonna hold this up to the light. It's pretty, pretty dark pouring it. And it's got that awesome dark color cocoa head that I love so much with Imperial Stouts. Uh, this beer looks absolutely beautiful in the glass. Pitch black, uh, poured pretty dark. Actually, you can't really see. Yeah, you can see that Gold Horse logo. It's fire. Uh, finger of like that dark brown mocha head. 13.2%, I don't have a lot of room. I gave myself a fucking boss pour, but there's some alcohol like streaking down. It looks awesome in that proper glassware, so. Yeah, uh, Nathan reviewed this beer, I want to say like three months ago when it was pretty fresh, and then Peter reviewed it shortly thereafter. So I'm reviewing this at a much different time with a little bit more time in the bottle. So, shove our nose in it. See what it smells like. Wow, this is, <laughs> holy shit. I didn't think the hazelnut was gonna be there. This smells like opening, and I only know this because my kids eat it every single morning with uh, waffles. It smells like Nutella, wow. That's fucking insane. I've had beer, like Modern Times has done stouts with walnuts and what other, did they use like almonds and beer? I've never smelled a beer that, this nutty. This is crazy. This even reminds me of like, if you guys have ever had like Biscoff cookies, this is, cr this is crazy. I was not ready for that. It's super roasty, tons of chocolate. It, but just so much Nutella, wow. <sighs> this reminds me of a candy that I've eaten before. What is it? Fuck, it's like my brain's going towards like a Girl Scout cookie, but there's not a Girl Scout cookie. Well, there's like Tagalongs that have peanut butter and chocolate. Maybe that's, this almost smells like that powdered peanut butter. If you guys have ever gotten uh, PB2 or whatever it's called and you've made like shakes with it. <laughs> it's, it's so concentrated hazelnut, holy shit. I would say there's more like roasty, like malty, like roasted, uh, like roasted malts than like coffee roast. 
Um, but it's super roasty and super ch like to that fudgy. This is super pastry. This, I mean, I don't know how long this video is. I could just sit here and smell this forever. It's fucking insane. The nose is, this nose is one of it's the one of the best stouts I've ever smelled in my entire life. So let's go and taste it. <laughs> Cheers. The mouthfeel of this beer is crazy. I've talked about the last couple. It's just fucking coating my mouth. This, uh, we drank barrel aged Old Rasputin. We had barrel aged Darkness. Uh, what else have we drank? We've drank some other beers. And I've talked about mouthfeel being kind of on the thin side. This is straight like cake frosting. It's crazy, the mouthfeel. It's so good. Taste falls in nose. There's more coffee flavor um, on the taste than there was. I was saying like it was real roasty, like roasted malt. There's for sure coffee, tons and tons of coffee. Um, but there's so much fucking hazelnut. It, 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 again, like I was saying, it smelled kind of like that powdered peanut butter. Um, it's even like some, I don't know, it smells, or smells, it tastes, like I can't describe what I'm tasting as far as like the nuttiness goes because it reminds you of like, eating um it reminds you of, like eating a brownie with uh like whatever fucking peanut is it peanuts that you put in brownies or like if you had a hot fudge sundae and you have ice cream with hot fudge on it and they put peanuts on it it reminds you of that this is so good i think ghost hawks beans was a lot sweeter because of the vanilla much more desserty this is way more breakfast in a glass that roast is so good from the coffee but it's not overpowering it doesn't go to like that burnt like super intense bitter coffee it's just an awesome amount of roasted coffee and a fuckload of think like nutella sandwich crazy so um i could just sit here and repeat myself over and over about this beer uh, i don't remember what i gave ghost hawks beans i gave it a pretty high score um peter said he didn't want to give this 100 because of he thinks like if there was a barrel aged version of this if we're basing this on non-barrel aged beers, I don't know many better than this. I would have to go back and look at all the beers I reviewed, all the stouts I've drank. I'd have to look it up online, see what I've drank. I don't remember. Nothing in my head immediately other than something like Morning Delight Batch 2, which was not barrel aged, um, is up there. But this is every bit as good as any other standard non-barrel aged stout I've had. I like this more than beans because it's not as sweet. Um, 13 point whatever percent it is you do not taste booze this will be a treat to finish this entire bottle i'm glad it ran today because there's a lot of fucking calories in this thing <laughs> this is hashtag hunnits this beer at whatever five months six months whatever it is in the bottle right now at this temperature it's about 60 degrees i would say 55 60 this beer is fucking perfect for me in my opinion the hazelnut is insane i've never tasted a beer with a nuttiness like it this is crazy I'm in love with it. It's fire. I wish I had a lot more bottles of this. So uh, that's Ghost Hawks Grass. I haven't had Territory yet, um, but this is my favorite so far. I like this better than beans. So there you go. You guys might not agree, and that's fine. We can talk about it. So yeah, uh, if you guys have had it, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you very soon. Cheers. Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse who I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoes.